Hi, it's George Levy. I believe we're changing the world one blockchain at a time. And if we use this technology properly, we are bound to make the world a better place for everyone. So to help make that happen in this video, I'm going to be answering a question from one of the students of the blockchain and cryptocurrency fundamentals in person training. And that student asked, what is an ERC 20 token? In this video, I'll tell you exactly what they are and we're even going to build our own. Stay tuned. In this video, we will be talking about ERC-20 tokens. ERC-20 tokens are the most common type of token that's issued during initial coin offerings or ICOs. In this video, we will be going in details into what is an ERC-20 token, and we're going to actually go over the process of creating our very own ERC-20 tokens to show how easy it is to create an ERC-20 token. Let's begin with what is an ERC-20 token. An ERC-20 token is a token. A token is a digital asset that can represent anything. Some examples include securities and loyalty points. Now, an ERC-20 token is actually a smart contract. In fact, it is a token smart contract. Now, a token smart contract is a smart contract which is built on a smart contract platform such as Ethereum. These tokens can be exchanged securely over the internet. The end result is that when you create a token, you wind up with a digital asset which you can actually send securely over the internet, much like you would be able to send a Bitcoin to someone else securely over the internet. ERC-20 Ethereum tokens are actually built on an ERC, and an ERC is an Ethereum request for comments. It is a process used in the Ethereum community to actually define and specify different standards. What that means is that once something is defined as a standard and it qualifies as an ERC, then it becomes a standard across the platform. ERC-20 went through that process, and as a matter of fact, it's an ERC-20 standard for these digital tokens. ERC-20 standard specifies six functions which developers must use. These are total supply, balance of, transfer, transfer from, approve, allowance. Now these six functions are recognized and identified by other smart contracts. In a nutshell, an ERC-20 token plays well with other smart contracts and that's why they are so popular. When somebody issues an ERC-20 token, it is very possible and it's very likely that it will be included and added to different cryptocurrency wallets. As a matter of fact, they are widely accepted across many cryptocurrency wallets and this is the reason why when someone is planning on launching an ICO, they typically would go for an ERC-20 as opposed to creating a different type of token. Now, most ICOs use ERC-20 tokens, and that's why it's so important that you become familiar with what an ERC-20 token is. In the next section, we're going to be creating an ERC-20 token. And the reason why I want to point it out is so you can see how easy it is for someone to create an ERC-20 token. Keep this in mind if you're considering investing in an ICO because creating an ERC-20 token is really not that complicated. So even though I will not be giving you any type of investment advice, make your own decisions. If you decide to move into an ERC-20 token by your perspective to invest in an ICO, make sure you do your own due diligence and find out exactly what you are getting because as you will see in this example, it is a very easy for someone to just create an ERC-20 token. To create a new ERC-20 token, what we will need to do is define several pieces of information. The first one is a token name. We will then need to determine what is a token symbol. We will come up with a supply of tokens, that is, how many tokens are going to be created. We will then also define the number of decimal places for these tokens. What we mean by this is that, can that token be subdivided into smaller pieces? For example, a Bitcoin is subdivisible by 100 million. Bitcoin has what's known as a Satoshi, and there are 100 million Satoshis in one Bitcoin. So with tokens, you can also make it divisible down to 18 decimal places. For the purposes of this example, I will just set it to zero. You either have a token or you do not have a token. That's why we'll set it at zero. We will then need to also issue how many tokens will the owner receive once these tokens are created. For this example, I will set it that we will receive all the tokens. 
We will now proceed to create our very own ERC20 token and to make things easier for you, I have provided a sample code that you can use. This is actually open source software and you can actually download and use the same code yourself and perform your own experiments with it. So the link I have provided for you enables you to get this code that I'm going to be using in this example. So as we proceed through this example, what we will find is that there is some code and it says code starts below the following line. We will take this code and we're going to copy it. We will take this code because it's already pre-programmed and this is built on the ERC20 standard which we spoke about. This will make things far easier and all we'll need to do is just fill in the blanks. So now that we've got our own code, I'm going to copy it and I'm actually going to proceed to go to Remix and the URL is remix.ethereum.org. Now Remix is an IDE, that's actually an integrated development environment which is built for smart contracts and solidity. So if you want to create smart contracts, you can use this Remix IDE, and it's actually got a built-in debugger, and it's also got an, a test environment within it. So you can actually go to this IDE right now and post this code inside. And we're going to actually start creating the smart contract, and then we're going to generate our tokens using this. Now, for me to be able to continue, the first thing I need to do is we need to determine what type of compiler we're going to use. I'm going to select this version right now. The system will load that compiler now what we will find is that the system will automatically know that this is a, an ERC20 token. But in order to be able to determine that, I need to specify some key items. In this case, I need to determine the number of tokens that we will be receiving. So I will choose to create a total of 1,000 tokens. So I will assume that I will receive 1,000 of these tokens. I also now need to specify the total supply. And if I'm receiving 1,000 tokens, then I need to have at least 1,000 tokens. So what I've said right now is that we are creating 1,000 tokens. That's our total supply. And to the sender, we will receive 1,000 of these tokens. So we're receiving the entire amount. Now we need to determine the name of the token. And we will name this one blockchain at a time token. I will then specify, as I mentioned, the number of decimals. And we specified that we're going to keep it at zero because all we really want to know is if you have a token or not. If you wanted to get a more advanced token, you could put decimals inside in case you wanted to trade with other people and you wanted to, to be able to have people give away 0.5 tokens, etc. As I mentioned, Bitcoin is subdivisible down to Satoshi, which is there's 100 million Satoshis in one Bitcoin. But for this example, we're going to keep it at zero. We also will need to specify the symbol for this token we are creating. And because we're calling it one blockchain at a time, let's call it one blockchain at a time token. So that's going to be the symbol for this. Now, in order for us to be able to run this, what we're going to find is that we will need to pay for this token. So what we will do right now is you saw right now that the IDE just found that it's an ERC20 token. In order to run this, we will have to pay fuel to run this. And I'm going to tell you exactly how I'm going to do that. I'm going to use actually a browser extension called MetaMask. MetaMask is available for, for Chrome, for Firefox, for Opera. It's also available built in to the Brave browser. But for the purposes of this example, I'm actually using Chrome and I've got MetaMask already loaded. I want to show you that I'm actually running on the test net. Now the test net, the test network is actually a space that developers can use to actually test a smart contract before actually running it on the main network. So we run it, we're running this on the test net, actually to be exact, the Robston test net. And I'm going to be using test ether instead of using real ether. If you actually wanted to create this for the main network, you would select the main Ethereum network and you would have to have real ether to pay for creating this, uh, these tokens. But since I am creating it in this test environment, I'm going to keep it at the Robston test network. What we will find now is that I've already got set up 3.969 Ether in this test network, and I'll be able to run this smart contract and create it. So I'll return now to the Remix IDE, and I will go to Run, and I will select the option to Create, and you will see how the system will automatically start creating these tokens. It pops open my MetaMask. I have to pay to create this. This is actually the fuel to run this smart contract. I hit submit. The system starts with one pending transaction. And now I am waiting for Ethereum to actually be able to create this, this, these tokens that I have just generated. And very shortly, you will find a contract address where we will be able to retrieve the 1,000 tokens that we have just created. So as we wait for this uh, 
contract to actually complete so we can get the contract address, I want to specify that this whole process you could do yourself. And this is just a point to show you how easy it is for someone to create their very own ERC-20 tokens. I'm saying this so that you can put things into context. When somebody issues an ICO and there's a token offering, it really isn't that complicated to do this. So keep that in mind and do your due diligence. If you're considering at any point investing in an ICO, realize that it's very easy for anybody to generate a token. So now that we've got this contract already run, we can copy the value, which is the contract address, onto our clipboard. And we will proceed to include that inside our MetaMask. So as you see, we now own currently 15 tokens. I'm gonna to add the token we just got. And I will paste the contract address in here. And as you see, MetaMask automatically finds that the token symbol is one blockchain at a time token. And I will add it into the system. And you will find as I switch through it, that I will now have 16 tokens. When we scroll to the bottom, we will find that the latest token we have is 1,000 one blockchain at a time tokens. And I can click on that and it'll take me to a block explorer that lets me look within Ethereum exactly where these tokens are. And as you can see, I currently have one address myself that owns 1,000 one blockchain at a time tokens. You hear the name, here's the symbol. And this is actually inside Ethereum already in the test net. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something in the process. I bring you brand new videos every single week, so I invite you also to subscribe so we can stay in touch. Also, if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, we are changing the world, one blockchain at a time. I'm George Levy. Thank you for watching.